This tech tip video will look at the new workflow from the Pollination plugin to transfer model geometry from Revit into the VE. Our previous tech tip video on this subject used a workflow that is still available, but it's now referred to as the legacy workflow. We're going to work through the new process using an existing Revit model. We'll go to the Pollination tab, where we now have greater control over each step. We'll start by clicking on Select Apertures or Doors, which opens a dialog with tabs that list all of the apertures, where we'll find windows, and then all of the doors. We can now choose which openings we want to select to be included in our export. The windows are grouped under window name, noting the total number of each in our model. We can filter this list by level. If, for example, we deselect level 2, the total count of windows decreases. We highlight all of the openings that we want to select across both tabs, and then click on OK to save our selection. Next, we'll click on Create Shades to choose which shading elements we want to export. We can select Add Shades to manually select the shades that we want to include from our Revit model. If we choose to add shades from selection, we'll again need to go back to the Revit model and select the shades that we want to include. If we right-click and choose Select All Instances and then In Entire Project, it can be a lot quicker. With all the shades selected, we go back to the Pollination tab and click on Create Shades to add all of the selected shades to the list of what will be exported. At this point, we can use the Preview tool to visualize our shading selection within Pollination. Next, we'll create rooms, which is essential for the export process to properly define the room volumes from the model. We click on this icon, and then we need to choose how the rooms will be defined. For step 1, it's usually best to set the boundary location to at wall center as this reduces the likelihood of having gaps between rooms. Once we've set this, we click on the arrow to move to the next step. If we click the plus icon next to any level, we can create a simplified floor plan for that level. We return to the Revit model, where we can see that we're now defining a pollination floor plan for the chosen level. Now, we go to the Architecture tab, where we can place rooms or spaces on this floor plan. We'll use the Rooms icon, where we first check the constraints that we'll use. It's recommended to set the upper limit using Levels, rather than using the Offset option, as this ensures that any changes to levels are automatically updated in the room volumes. We can place rooms manually. But for now, we'll click on Place Rooms Automatically, and we can see that these are correct. We go back to the Pollination tab again, and create Rooms, where we can then repeat this process for each level of the model. Once done, with the Geometry Source set as Rooms, we need to set the Geometry Calculation for each level. We can choose either Extruded Floors or Full Volume. Where the top of a volume is horizontal, we'll use extruded floors. We then use the column to set an extrusion height per level, based on the distance to the next level, to ensure that there are no vertical gaps in the exported model. We use full volumes to capture more complex geometries, such as sloped roofs. Now we can move on to step 3, where we confirm for each level which rooms we want to include in our export. For step 4, we can select any or all of the rooms and then preview them using the different buttons. We can also choose which model layers are visible or hidden. This can be used, for example, to hide the ceilings and roofs 
so that we can view the interior spaces. The layers for apertures, doors and shades can all be viewed in this manner, together with using the tick boxes to determine if they are included or excluded from the export. The validate button gives us options to either validate the model or check for room overlaps. If we identify any errors, we can return to our Revit model to change them, or we can use the new Model Editor desktop application from Pollination and leave the Revit model unchanged. For step 5, we can set the building properties, but we're going to leave them on defaults because we just want to export the geometry as a gem file. We click on Create Snapshot to capture the current Revit model in accordance with what we have set in the previous steps. This will create a file to which we can assign a name and a description for later reference before saving it. Now we can click on Edit and Export Model to use the Pollination Model Editor which gives us the option to open the snapshot file and perform further edits rather than exporting at this point. Here we go to Levels where we can view any level and then edit it further. Let's hide all of the levels except for the ground floor. Now we can click on one or more rooms to access the editing tools used to simplify the geometry. These include Pull to Room, which is useful for fixing gaps between rooms, Remove Holes, which is used to fill in holes left by columns or ducts, Repair Windows lets us fix, trim, or simplify window geometry. And Solve Adjacency can automatically correct geometry errors between selected rooms, such as overlaps or gaps. By double-clicking on the corner or midpoint of a space, we can also add an alignment line, which allows us to use the Align command to tidy our geometry. For example, we can simplify our model geometry by removing the small step in this room. First, we create an alignment line, and then we select all of the rooms that we wish to align. We click on the Align button to set the constraints to automate this edit, and then we can run it. The editor will give us a notification on the updates performed. We can then use the Lines button to set the visibility of these lines. Finally, before exporting, we may choose to snap the entire model to a grid. This creates a file that is aligned to the grid within the VE, if the same grid dimension is used. We should set the units to what we will use in the VE, with a sensible tolerance for this edit. We select the whole model and use Snap to Grid to set the grid increment that we want to use. When we click on Run, this edit will be performed and we'll get a notification of success. Once we've performed all of the edits, we click on the button to export our project. We choose the GEM format to export the geometry for use in the VE, and then we download the file. Now, we can open a new or existing project in the VE and use the menu to go to File, Import, BIM File and choose our GEM file for import. We'll see a preview of the file that we're importing as another check. Once imported, we can move this geometry within the VE project if needed. We'd recommend that at this point you use the Modeler drop-down menu to run a model report as an additional quality check on the geometry that has been imported. Thank you for watching this video on how to quickly use the new pollination tool to export from Revit and then import this gem file into the VE to set the model geometry. For further hints and tips on the VE, please check out our other Tech Tips videos.